Adiós. I'm Amber. I'm Shannon. Today we are here to talk to you about our TBRs, sort of, kind of, for the Hogwarts House Battles. Woo! Yay! We are both on Team Hufflepuff. I am one of the co-hosts for Team Hufflepuff, along with Katie over at Bookmarked. She's also the creator of this readathon. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go through our sort of TBR. Books are subject to change. Yeah. Because and anything we say can't and won't be held against us in, in the court, court of law. law. Nope. Or in the Hogwarts house battles. House battles. I do what I want. Man, I'm such a mood reader. Yeah. And like, this, mm -hmm. is, this is my thinking. Yeah. So I can't try to come up with a different book for each prompt because then I figured if I read one of them, it counts. It'll count towards at least two, probably. Any, mm -hmm. any given one. And yeah. then I can start knocking them out. But then I have options. Yes, because, like, you never know. Like, last time, last readathon, I was reading a bunch of romance books, and then I just couldn't fucking take it anymore. And I had to get something else. And then I read, like, the saddest book in the world, but it was so fantastic. What did I do? I was reading a whole lot of YA. Yes. I, I, I burned myself out on the Lunar Chronicles, which I did enjoy until the last book, which was too fucking she long. She hated that book. It was too fucking long. <laughs> it needed to be like a third of the size, okay? That's how and I then, felt about The Return of the King. And then by the time I got to it, I had already read a lot of YA. And in general, I don't like to read too much of the same genre back to back. I like to mix up my reading all the time. Mm -hmm. Which you'll see in my TBR. But um, I was so burned out on YA that by the time I finished it, I read a book called Squid Empire and then Rise we read of that. the Cephalopods. So like, we like to mix it up. Yeah. I like to mix it up a lot. You probably mix it up more than I do because I like what I like and I don't really stray because I'm always terrified. You're the one who has to like push me in other genres. Mm -hmm. Like you pushed me into reading a sci-fi last time and I don't really read sci-fi. Now this time I'm are you doing classics. Which one? Are you talking about the fifth season? No, when we did Into the Drowning Deep. Oh, Into the Drowning Deep. Yeah. But you liked that one. Yeah, that was good. Okay. So the just in case you're un unfamiliar, the readathon includes cha class challenges, which are worth 50 bonus points for each challenge if you complete them. And you can double up. We can double up on books. So if we read one book that fits six challenges, we get each of those challenges points. 50 points for each one. Now, we're not necessarily going to do that because, you know... We'll that, see. But we may do that. Yeah, we might. Or we might not. We promise nothing. We're not psychic. Nope. We didn't We didn't pass divination. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen at the end of September. <laughs> My crystal ball's just class. Yeah. I, I lost mine. <laughs> it got thrown out the window. <laughs> well, then you didn't lose it. it was... Yeah, because I lost it when I threw it out the window. I don't know where it went after that. Oh, okay. So we're going to go through these class challenges, say what they are, and what we plan to read. So the first one is for astronomy to read a only read this book at night. Because I don't know what I'm gonna feel like reading at night. I work at night. Yeah, I'm just I don't know which one. It'll be something. So the second one is alchemy. Read a recommendation from a friend. I'm going to be reading After the Fire by Will Hill. Because <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> Anyways, um, my sister gave this to me and said it was a good book and I would like it and I had to read it. I'm going to do The Time Traveler's Life by Audrey Niffenegger. That's a mouthful. I know. It was recommended to me by a friend that I met, not through the BookTube or Book Twitter community, but through this random Facebook group that I'm a part of. And she went and read my favorite book because I recommended it. And so I feel like I, I owe her a recommend a recommended book as well. So the next one is Apparition. Only read this book in public. So I think for that, we should just like pick one of our smaller books and like go to Starbucks and like just fucking read. Yeah. Like a whole lot. Yeah. Number four is Arithmancy. Arithmancy. Read a book with a number in the title. What you got? So I got two possible options for this one. If I am number four, and I have the lucky one. 
So I don't know. It'll probably be more likely this one because I haven't read this one yet and I've read this one. But we'll see what happens. So I'm leaning towards reading Sixpence House by Paul Collins. Love this cover. Isn't it gorgeous? The next one is Care of Magical Creatures. Read a book with an animal on the cover. So for this one, <laughs> I'm reading The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. You can't see the cover because I hate covers and I throw them out, but she will put Hold it up right here. Just hold the book up like right there. So I could have gone with a number of books for this one, but I've been wanting to read this one for again for a while. And that's Max Deluxe by Myra Coleman. Yeah, it's about this dog that's a poet. Charms, read a new to you book. I mean, literally, we just got back from Barnes and Nobles. Like, literally, I had bought eight different books and I, I, I'm not going to pick one because it's pointless. I'll just pick whichever one I want and I'll keep you updated throughout the month. And that's just the way it's going to be. Yep. Yep. Um, I just put anything new. So my plan is just any book that I haven't read yet, I might count. Yep. There's going to be one of them. The next book is Defense Against the Dark Arts. Uh, read a book you previously put down. All right. So for this, I don't have a physical book. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be all in here. My lovely Kindle. I started The Lost Boy by Shonda Hawn sometime like at the beginning of July, but I never finished it. I think I'm only like 12% in. So I'm just going to start over and read it over. I'm going to continue reading The Selected Works of T.S. Spivet by Reef Larson. I started reading it and then I just, I set it down to, to read other stuff or to do challenges or whatever. And I never picked it up again. And I've been meaning to, and so I'm gonna, yeah. there you go. Or possibly one of the other ones, who knows? Okay, Divination, which we failed. Read a predicted five-star book. I am going to be reading the last book in the Shonda Hahn, uh, like she did like a Peter Pan adaptation. That's the set, The Lost Boy was the second one of that. So um, I'm gonna read The Lost Shadow as my predicted five-star book. I imagine the last book is going to be amazing, but just in case I don't like The Lost Boy, um, I will back it up with um, Sorcery mm -hmm. of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I just purchased this today. And like literally could not put it down once I picked it up. Like it took you it. all of like three seconds to decide you were buying it. And that yeah. was that. So my predicted five star read is also technically a book I'm currently reading, but I would like to finish it. Um, and I don't think it'll happen before the end of the month. So I'm going to say Persuasion by Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen. And I am really enjoying this book. Okay. So the next one is Flying. Read your most anticipated book. Yes, this is the one that I'm like most excited to read. Otherwise, I mean, if I decide that I want to do something different, I also have Beast Tale of Love and Revenge. So my answer for this is technically this book, but I'm going to say the first book in this series. So I picked this up at some sale somewhere because I just couldn't get enough of the cover and it sounded fun. And it's The White Griffin by Mercedes Lackey and Larry Dixon. I'm really looking forward to checking it out because I've been eyeing up this book on my shelf for a minute. The next one is Herbology. Read a book that means a lot to you. Also, I am once again wearing my succulent earrings. I was either going to settle on The Choice, um, which is also the one with the dog on it. Otherwise, The Edge of Never by uh, J.A. Redmersky. It was a really good uh, story basically about a girl who felt like she was stuck in a rut and basically decides to jump on a bus to the middle of nowhere on some adventure. And basically it's a book about finding yourself and I just related to it a lot. So, And then like The Choice is, uh, it means a lot to me as well just because like it's about you know, making a choice. Like you can either choose to stay in a place that you're not exactly happy with, or you can make the choice to find happiness, basically, um, to give up or to keep fighting. So for me, I could do the Max Deluxe, that could count for that, but also I'm leaning towards Fruit, Fruits Basket Volume 2. This entire series means a lot to me. It's about a girl who's going through a lot of shit, and she meets these people who accept her and it's all about loving somebody for who they are, you know, including their flaws and just not being alone. It, it inspired my entire obsession with Japan. <laughs> so the next prompt is History of Magic. Read a book from another generation. There is something in my eye. 
This one's gonna kind of count for three of them for me. Um, so from a different generation, a uh, genre I don't typically read and a classic, because honestly, I've never read a classic novel, ever. So um, I'm gonna be doing uh, Pride and the Prejudice by uh, Jane Austen. So this will count for three of them. It just is what it is, because I'm gonna read it. I love that book so much. I'm saying The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. It's been on my radar and on my TBR for a long ass time, and it's about time I got to it. The next one is Muggle Studies. Read a hyped book. All right, so for me, the hyped book I think I'm going to be going with is The Cruel Prince by uh, Holly Black, um, just because I see this book everywhere, every place. Everybody says it's such a great book, so I said fuck it, and I bought it, and I'm going to read it. I don't have a physical copy, but I'm going to say With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Because The Poet X was so phenomenal, everybody was really anticipating her other book. The next one is Potions. Read a genre you wouldn't typically pick up. So I already said this. I'm going to be doing Pride and Prejudice. Mm -hmm. So we're done I'm <laughs> with me. <laughs> I'm going to say um, The Odyssey by Homer. This is translated by Emily Wilson. Epic poems are not a genre I typically pick up. This is also my ch choice for Study of Ancient Runes. Read a classic novel. Even though this is technically a poem and not a novel, but it's a classic. It's a classic. It is the, it is in the definition of classics if you talk to anybody in academia. And then the final prompt is Transfiguration. Read the last book that you bought. So, how I did this since I bought <laughs> eight books from Barnes & Noble. I only bought three. I behaved very well at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, my the, the I went with the last one on the receipt. So, that one is... I bought three books today, but this is the one I was the most excited about. I'm going with Brewing in Milwaukee by Brenda McGee. I live in Milwaukee County. I grew up in Milwaukee. I love craft beer. We are known as Brew City. Our baseball team is the Milwaukee Brewers. We drink more in the 414. Yep. Our drinking culture is through the roof. High. Yeah. I mean, we were settled by Germans. It just jumped out at me, and I've, I've been learning a lot more about craft beer lately. And I was, I was really curious about the origins. Those are the challenges. Um, I mean, we're all obviously going to try to read the group books as well. So our group book for Hufflepuff is The Revolution of Bertie Randolph. So yeah, that's our TBR of sorts. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there's a bunch of other books that, um, you know, we plan on reading. Um, but I mean, we don't really know what we're going to get into. Be sure to check out the other hosts. Yeah. Um, remember that the weekly challenges are going to be announced by all of the hosts. So yeah, if you're participating, uh, comment below. Let us know if you have read any of these books or plan to read any of these books or have your own TBR. Be sure to comment that down below. I think that's it. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching this. Yeah, thanks for coming by and um, happy reading. Bye. Bye.